Hey you guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Justin's Rick Reviews and More. We have another brand new review for you guys and you guys only. So hit that subscribe button below. Become part of our huge family that's growing every single day. We number the knowledge. But what we're doing today is something a little bit slightly different. We're making a Kentucky mule. Alright, and it's pretty simple. All you need is some mint leaves, which we don't have, but you know, we just kind of wing it anyway. And then we're going to be using some Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. And then we're going to be using some Gosling's Ginger Beer. All right, and everybody's like, oh, you should just make two ice cubes. And I don't need ice cubes when the cup's cold, okay? It, it's one of those fancy ones where you just, yeah, it just stays cold. All right, so I'm going to open the beer up. This doesn't stand up, so if you're curious, we're using Gosling's uh, ginger beer, but the bottom is very protruded, so we're not going to stand it up. Thank you, this calls. And we're using some Evan Williams, like I said, bottled and bond, 100 proof. Um, and pretty much, it's just a Kentucky mule because it's a Kentucky bourbon. Uh, other than that, let's give it a try. So on the nose, um, the bourbon doesn't really get rid of that ginger. It's still very earthy. It smells a little dry. It almost smells like a flea market. I'm not going to lie. But hey, cheers. Let's give it a try. So, on the flavor, I feel like it's sweeter than I've ever had it. Um, and this is the same ginger beer that I've used for a lot of different videos. Uh, but it tastes more sugary, more sweet with the Kentucky bourbon. And the, one of, the 100 proof doesn't stand out nowhere near as much as you would anticipate it to, actually. Um, it's more dense, it's more dry, um, but it's less simple it's more like sugary and it makes your like lips sticky I don't know maybe I'm just picky but there's no real dense burn there's no alcoholic flavor to it I mean other than the ginger beer taste itself which ginger beer is not alcoholic I think uh, but the Evan Williams itself is a hundred proof and you've seen how much I put in, and I really don't think that it's genuinely overbearing as far as a mixer for it, because you can't really taste that. And with you putting in almost, I'd say, a shot and a half, at least two shots in, uh, then not really recognizing that there's alcohol in it, that could be a dangerous drink. But however, I do want to say, ginger beer is not for everyone. Uh, at first, I hated it. I still kind of am on the fence about it. It's not great. It tastes like dirt. Um, it tastes like ginger root. It's not the best flavors, but it can be changed up, mixed out a little bit. Now, you can change this a little bit if you want to add some lime juice to this. That'll get rid of that, that little bit of ginger, that overbearing ginger, and you get to add uh, a mint leaf to it if you would like to. Uh, but genuinely, other than that, there's not much you can do. Uh, maybe try a different ginger beer or something like that. But overall, I don't think it turned out too bad. I mean, my glass is already cold, so I didn't need ice. So it's up to interpretation of what you would like to put into your Kentucky Mule. It's so cold. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that. It's definitely interesting making these new drinks and learning to make them. Um, I do want to get better at getting these garnishes in, so if you guys would like to see more garnishes and stuff, let me know. And guys, remember, hit that like button below. It helps out the algorithm. Hit the comment section below if you want me to try anything new that I haven't tried yet and you would like me to do a review on it. Guys, that comment section is where you can do that. It helps out a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, <coughs> 
hit that uh, subscribe button, guys. Come part of our huge family. We're growing every single day with be numbers or knowledge. But till later, till next time, till always remember, I buy it. So you guys don't have to, and I try it. So you guys don't have to, guys. Hit that notification bell. We go live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We post videos Monday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tomorrow being Miller Monday, guys. I'm super stoked about it. Y'all have a blessed rest of your day. I'm Justin. I hope you enjoyed the review. I did, and I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow with a brand new review and a brand new live. Y'all have a blessed Sunday, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you guys.